We will be interviewing Spencer Gibson about the most recent book he's read, De Niro's Game, by Roy Hodge. The book is set in Beirut during the Lebanese Civil War. This is evident as the main character often refers to the war as the Christians versus the Muslims. He also describes different sounds he hears, like bombs going off, people screaming, as well as radios making noise. Specifically, the radios were used to communicate when they were getting bombed. However, when they were safe, a music artist called Abu Fayaz would come on the radio and sing. Not only could one hear a lot going on, one could also smell a lot of stuff. There was garbage piled high in the streets which contributed to a constant rotting smell. The smell of cigarettes was also very common as everyone in the city loved to smoke. Overall, the constant smells and the sounds help one understand what Beirut was like. There are a variety of important artifacts in the book, and most of them can be found in Bassam, the main character's apartment. One of the important artifacts is this poster of Roma. It depicts a crowded town square with a fountain in the center of it covered in pigeons. It is so important to him as it reminds him that Beirut is not safe. This is because no one is carrying guns and everyone is so happy. Another important artifact is his mother's radio. It is covered in cheap green plastic and is coated in cooking residue. This radio is so important to him as it was a constant reminder that Beirut was not safe. This is because the radio usually came on when they were getting bombed. Overall, the use of artifacts helped to show that Bassam wanted to leave Beirut for a safer place. <music> A variety of events that happen in the novel that helped create a believable setting. There's one time when Basom is urged to go down to the shelter because the city is getting bombed, but he refuses to. Him and his mother end up staying up in their apartment where a bomb lands in the kitchen. It ends up killing his mother. This helps people better understand that everyone knew someone who died because of the fighting. This also helps to create a believable setting, however the use of language helps to create authenticity. The author uses words like lambajin, which is a thin meat pie regularly consumed by people in Lebanon, to help people better understand what they ate over there. He also uses Christian and Muslim names, depending on the region, to help create authenticity of the setting. He then decides to use words like 10,000 bombs to give people a better understanding of the destruction that Beirut faced. Rai Haj is able to effectively do this as he lived in Beirut and knew people who didn't make it. There are two different places where the book is set. The first half of the book takes place in Bassam's apartment. This is arguably the most important place as he develops one to leave Beirut for a safer place. However, it is his home. The main atmosphere for his apartment is sad. This is because everything is broken and there is smoke constantly in the air. When he decides to leave Beirut, he bribes the captain of a cargo ship to let him join him on his journey to France. When he gets to France, he decides to purchase a hotel room. His hotel room feels like home, however it is much safer. The atmosphere helps to reflect the safety of France, as everyone is smiling and no one is carrying guns. These two settings are connected, as both places he goes, he finds a place that feels like home. His want to find a place like home helps to change both the setting and the mood. In the beginning of the novel, the psalm is carefree, as he is willing to rob the militia, even though this could kill him. Along with that, he is very social, strong, and has no morals. He continues to act immoral and starts to see no good in the world. He becomes very vengeful and emotional as his ex-girlfriend is now dating his best friend George. This also makes him very closed off socially. Later on in the novel, he becomes very weak and fragile as the militia tortured him. They believed he murdered someone, however, he was innocent. Near the end of the book, he becomes more of a moral person as he has learned from his faults. The changing of his morals makes him more of a calm, caring, and respectful person. The transformation of Bassam is loosely based around the author and how he changed throughout leaving Beirut. Bassam has a huge impact on other characters in the novel. He affects his girlfriend, Raina, by raping her. This in turn changes how she thinks and feels about him. Along with that, she starts to avoid him because of what happened. This helps to show how he not only affected her mentally and emotionally, he also changed her social interactions. Even though he had a negative impact on Raina, he had a positive one on his best friend, George. He went to George and told him what he was doing was wrong, as he was part of the militia and was killing innocent civilians. This made George feel remorse and in turn made him more of a moral person. 
Overall, the song has a huge impact on other characters in the book. I believe that the author wants the reader deep down to believe that Bassam is a good person. However, events that have happened in his childhood have affected his morals. I believe this as Bassam does great things, like protecting Ray from getting beat, saving children from death, as well as trying to convince George to not join the militia. These events have been clouded by other ones, like him raping his girlfriend or robbing the casino. But these can relate back to events in his childhood, like his father raping his mother, which definitely impacted his morals. The author also had his morals shaped while living in Beirut, and that is why I believe he made the theme of the book, Morality. The theme statement I have come up with is, a person's childhood is foundational to their sense of morality. The author of De Niro's game is Roy Hodge. He was born in 1964 in the city of Beirut. He is of an Arabic background and a Christian faith. The Lebanese Civil War was a huge part of his childhood. This not only influenced his want to leave Lebanon for schooling, it also made him want to write the book Dinero's Game. When he came to North America, he got a degree in fine arts, a master's of fine arts, and a degree in photography. After finishing school, he decided to work as a photographer to help pay his rent. In his free time, he'd work on Dinero's Game. After publishing Dinero's Game, he won the IMPAC Double Literacy Award, which is worth over $150,000. Even though he has become successful and is living a happy life, his political opinions have not changed since leaving Beirut. He believes that Canada should be taking in more refugees as he knows how bad it is in war-torn countries. Along with that, he believes that no country should engage in war. His political opinions are evident through the plot of the book. Hopefully you enjoyed, and tune in next week where we interview A.J. Vaspart about the most recent book he has read, 1984 by George Orwell.